Episode 1, Home Alone, July 12th. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I didn't- I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I guess I'll just start. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for the weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I felt like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though, I did plan on fixing that. With that obnoxious noise. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. Ma'am? No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Hell yeah, lasagna. Parents could really use some work on the decorating. Everything's the same color tone. <laughs> they really like brown, my, my parents. Here's the lasagna that she made. Is this it? Food was cold. No duh, we just took it out of the fridge. Of course it's cold. Food is heating up. G to throw. Throw what? C to crouch. These blinds do not go up very high, do they? My lasagna's ready. Dropped on the floor. I liked watching TV while I ate. <laughs> what the heck is this show? This sucks. It's not. It's not. Does it look good? My lasagna is great. My mom made it for me. How dare you talk bad about the lasagna? Mmm. <laughs> Yum. I I eat like a whole section at once. Damn. How much do I weigh? <laughs> Am I like a two fifty pound kid? Well, that was delicious. <laughs> I do, I'm full. Mom will clean it up. Yeah, I want to see Mason's message. I don't care about you, my mom. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came off, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Damn, you walk up the slow s the, the stairs so slow. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Don't forget Kem, though. Chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go back to bed after Kem. Am I doing my homework now? And then, don't ask me why, but I... But I to my parents' room. What? What? <laughs> I to my parents' room. Dark, I can't see. Oh, time for Cam. Twelve thirty-eight a.m. 
I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Homework was done, I was off to bed. That was not organic chemistry, that sucked. What, mom? Don't stay up late, you kids. You kids? It's just me. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Whatever, mom, I'm going to bed. I always close my door before going to bed. Okay, that's fair. That makes sense. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. Hoisty. What? Do we not turn on the lights when we go for water? Or we. <laughs> Fine. I guess we'll just go in the dark. I don't mind. Go we'll fall down the stairs and die. Where do we keep cups? Wait, what was that sound? Wait, wait, what? Hello? Man, <laughs> someone like Shanghai buying you bad horror games. <laughs> Where do we keep cups? Where's the cups? It's so dark. Wow, ah, jeez, that was loud. <laughs> Anyways, got to keep all, all the demons. I need water. Whoa, my God, that was loud, too. <laughs> what is with this place? Uh. <laughs> it's because it's loud. Where... Where's mission? Hello? How do I get water? Where's my cup? I wish it wasn't so dark. Oh, my, my lasagna dish is here. Mom will clean it. So where do we keep the... Hello? Any murderers outside? I'm not allowed to go outside. <laughs> that was loud! <laughs> that was so loud and unnecessary! <laughs> that blew out my goddamn ears! Holy... Mom, I think my hiding spot is really dumb. Why would he break the window and then ring the doorbell? <laughs> that seems like a strange, uh... Strange order of operations, Mr. Killer. The killer's stupid, too. It's Paula at the door. Okay. Say so, Mom. Mom, are you sure? Mom, so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. What? Mom, so sorry, honey. Everything's going to be all right. Mom, I don't want to go. I don't trust you. <laughs> you hired assassins to kill me. You're usurping the throne. Okay, I'm coming, Mom. Mom, if you get me killed, I'm gonna be so mad. Why don't we turn on the lights? Oh, God. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Going back under my bed. <laughs> nope. I hear noises. Okay, I'm coming. <sighs> Ugh. 
Ring the doorbell again, Paula. Okay, I'm coming. I die. Oh! Okay. Going back to my room. Close the door. And back under the bed. You know, Mom, after the crashing through the window thing, probably shouldn't make me go answer the door. Probably was a stupid idea. Hooray, happy music. Yay, we're alive. I hope they shot the killer dead. That was easy. Yay. Did you get him? I'm afraid to go outside still. <laughs> Okay, I feel like it could be getting okay. We're fine. Oh, it closed. Yay! <laughs> Next one. This time we're going hitchhiking. after it decides it wants to load. Any second now. Surely it's going to work properly <laughs> any second now. Oh, there we go. Long to start up, jeez. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. Please hurry up and show it on the monitor, please. Thank you. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves the gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I got the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled with the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket wouldn't be too expensive. This convention I went to at was great. I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. I feel like I'm going a little quick. <laughs> oh, time to text and drive! Drive safe, Holly. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh god, nearly ran to the wall. Just a little texting and driving, it's fine. Oh, whoa! <laughs> it's crazy! Hey, Dad, what's up? Where did you reach? Still about six hours, I got stuck in a chair. <laughs> I love texting and driving simulator. You're halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. That's kind of careless of you.
Oops. <laughs> Chevy. <laughs> There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. Thought I could drive past logs, but it wouldn't budge. Not with that attitude. Okay, I guess we'll get out. Put these stupid trees here. I didn't think much of it at the time. It's really normal to have uh, pieces of lumber just blocking the way. There. That'll do. Had to move the logs. What's wrong? Oh, wait. Hey, wait. The logs are haunted. They're moving back. these enchanted logs here. <laughs> the Lorax. Ah, there. The car, car, oh, come on. Are you telling me my car's dead now? Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> Turn off the radio, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's a, just a couple trees. Ugh. All right, let's see. Fix my goddamn car. Well, how did wait? How did you get back in the car? We're looking at the, under the hood. <laughs> what is happening? But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. All right, let's get to work. Are we afraid of chainsaw massacres? I could just put that in the boot. Oh. Ah! That was dangerous. That didn't happen. I thought I was fixing the car, but apparently it wasn't even like tools in that thing. Thank you for helping me, sir. You're very nice. It's me, a sweet 21 year old boy. You're, I'm a girl. Never mind. It's me, the 21 year old girl who's extra sweet. You're that girl from the gas station. Hi. I didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I could get a ride? Where are you headed to? Uh, uh just, uh. The nearest stop where I can call for help? Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. I'm hopping. Hi! <laughs> Do we turn on the radio? No? Okay, I didn't want to listen to it anyways. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh... I live... 
Uh, uh, I was driving home. That piece of crap broke down on me. Jason, my name's Jason. It's nice to meet you, Jason. Jason, like, the killer? <laughs> that Jason? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? Got any clue what happened to your car back there? It's an old car. That's it, I think so. <laughs> I'm always doing the cook for a summer camp nearby. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He's funny. <laughs> In interesting. Okay, bye. Jason. Uh, where's the front office? Is this not the front office? He looks... You look like that guy at the gas station, kind of. Gal needs a room to shack up for the night? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. My favorite show. In Technicolor, hell yeah. How come my bed has no covers? <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> That's so loud! <laughs> well, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn. The finest stop over in Norwood. What were you doing in there? <laughs> you know, cleaning stuff. At the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll get my stuff. Clark, I need help! There's a creep in my room! Are you trying to get information out of Lois while having her gagged? feel like you're doing conflicting things, villain. <laughs> it's getting flamethrowered and clonked. <laughs> Wait, was that... Did you hear that? You did it, Superman. You saved them. How do we with Joe about the situation? What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. It needs... If, if need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been... See enough guests lately, <laughs> but you have a good night. Okay. Do you give me the nice cushions? If you play your cards right, you could maybe spend the night. Oh, no. Or all right, all right, bye. 
Great job, Superman. Okay, it's bedtime. Who's in my bathroom? That's a wonderful story, Lois. Thanks, Clark. But I owe it all to Ah! Hi? Uh, did you want to watch the show? It's Superman. Call it a foresight, but there's something very off about that place. It's Superman! It's Superman. I'm going in the closet. <laughs> Bye! There's a mic? I'm not talking anymore. I don't want to go outside. What if I die? Only coffee could help. Oh, I need a coffee. Do I have to go get one? Oh, the sink's out here. Okay, I guess I'm getting a coffee. <laughs> It's fine. Let's go get a coffee. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe I should have gotten a coffee instead of an espresso. Ah. Now I can stay up all night watching Superman. Oh my, who drugged the coffee? Oh, my controls are inverted. Oh no. Backward is forward. Okay. That was some good coffee. I need to, <laughs> I need to get back to my room with my backwards controls. Okay, turn around, close the door. Whoa, Superman. <laughs> Check my tech, can't read my text. Bedtime. You're really sensitive to caffeine. <laughs> Am I gonna wake up hanging from a meat hook or something? I was sedated. Hello? Bye. Superman, save me! <laughs> Is there a killer in here? <laughs> I didn't even see him! <laughs> it's so loud! <laughs> it's so loud! <laughs> oh man, I have to start over! <laughs> Oh no, it does it auto saves. Thank thank you. <laughs> Twenty-one.
Didn't feel safe going out. Okay, well, gonna go in the bathroom then. Okay, bye. Doing ASMR. <laughs> Tapping wood in my ear. Give up. Shut up, Superman! Help! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone? Oh, the TV! I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? The coffee was bad. Are you messing with me? We don't have... No coffee machine here. <laughs> it's right over there. Okay. Here, I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me, I hate my job. Come along, Joe. Maybe close the door behind you. Maybe get your gun. This is America, right? You have a gun? It was here, I swear! I swear, and it tasted really bad. <laughs> it was real! Wait, where did Joe go? Joe? I swear <laughs> to God, it was right here! I said go back now. Not hear me, I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the telly. Okay. But there's a killer in the closet. I can hear him. No one believes me. Hi. A table by the telly. There's nothing here. Oh, he's out. Goody. Um. What do we do? I don't want him to be loud. He's gonna loud me again. See him there. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. All of them are bad. What if he's in the bathroom waiting? If I go outside again, he might kill me too. Lois, help me! <laughs> He's going to get me! Oh, never mind, we're going to bed. This is fine. <sighs> Alright, I'm going over. Is he in the bathroom? See in the see in the closet. I don't want to go. It's gonna be so loud. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Rar, rar, no rar. Okay. <laughs> this is a job 
It said there was something beside the telly, but I don't see anything. What table beside the telly? What am I looking for? I didn't need it. Oh, the drug. I was clicking and it didn't click. Stupid piece of garbage. Fire's water, okay. Hmm, all better. Got my drugs. How to hide in the closet. Whoa, ooh, 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 close the door. <laughs> You want? Hello? <laughs> Can I hide in the bathroom or something? <laughs> what does he want from me? Oh my god. Hi. Can I help you? My stun gun. Is that like in my purse or something? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Up in the sky. Look, it's a plane. It's a plane. It's Superman. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. No, I won't. I know you're in there. Oh my god, what does he want? What do you want? If you're gonna come in and kill me, then do it! Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Oh god. Ah! <laughs>
to this day, I felt I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would affect the motel reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or po or possibly possibly something else, even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Did the manager just beat his shit up? <laughs> so, is the manager the is the manager Superman? Did he just kill the killer? <laughs> What a hero. <laughs> He's so brave. <laughs>